Warhammer 40k, the entire story and lore before you play Rogue Trader. This is the shortest and most straightforward version in the 40k lore and everything you need to know about this franchise in a few minutes. Crazy big lore by the way, I never seen such a big lore in a sci-fi universe in my life. This, you, you can easily make 50 books out of this. And crazy stupid games in Warhammer 40k so far. 95% of those games in the last 30 years are complete trash and 5% of them are mediocre or good. Such a pity for such a great universe. I spent a lot of time reading through Warhammer's 40,000 lore and I spent a lot of time playing Warhammer 40k games and I want to make this video as short as I can and to teach you everything that you need to know before Alcat's Warhammer 40k Rogue Trader is out. I feel the need to introduce you to the epic story of Warhammer and I know that you people love CRPGs on this channel and it's time for all newcomers to learn everything there is very fast without reading and playing games so let's bloody go It's 41st millennium, that's why 40k in the title. The Emperor, the ruler of Earth and countless of galaxies is waging wars and protecting humanity in his own twisted ways for 10,000 years and more, so basically since the 30th millennium. He is the most important political figure and of course the most important religious figure in the galaxy. The Emperor was gravely injured during the ancient interstellar civil war and now he's on a life support mechanism known as a golden throne. Countless are sacrificed for the Emperor so he can keep his deathless state and to allow humanity travels through warp that can be opened only by the will of the Emperor, the ancient and most powerful human psychic. The Emperor gave his rule to Senatorium Imperialis. You can think of them as Roman Senate. Only nobles and important figures are making decisions for humanity now. Humanity is fighting against demons, chaos, necrons, orcs, drukaris, different types of Eldars, Tyranids and countless of other species in the universe. Main forces of Emperor is his vast legion, the Imperial Guard, that are led by bioengineered superhuman warriors, the so-called Space Marines. Inquisition and tech priests are also a very important part of Emperor's army. The goal is clear, eliminate all threat to humanity in the universe, aliens, heretics, mutants, demons, and expand the riches of humanity. Now why the name Warhammer? Warhammer is an ancient relic weapon that slew countless of demons and other aliens. And Warhammer in the title cause war never ends for humanity in this universe. For millenniums, millions of war are active and never ending in every single second of this universe. The Imperium, led by the Emperor, is the most powerful in the entire galaxy, with more than a million human planets. There is no place for other religions, only the Imperial cult that serves one and only true god of mankind, the Emperor. Every planet pays taxes known as Imperial Teeth, and all of that goes towards weapons and army of the Imperium. Basically, the Emperor is immortal god watched how humanity suffered 10,000 years before Christ all the way up to 31st millennia when humanity was on the brink of annihilation. He intervened personally for the first time and brought hope, prosperity and reason to humanity. The ages of Warhammer. Humanity went in a few different ages. The first age would be Age of Terra from 1st millennium to 15th millennium. Classic here, colonization of Mars, first contact with alien species, or better to say with orcs, and so on. Second age, age of technology, from 15th millennium to millennium 25. 
Invention of Warp, Faster Than Light Fast Travel, Nano and Biotechnology Prosper 2, Appearance of First Psychers, Inquisition and other factions. It ended with disaster and huge warp storms that completely destroyed means of fast travel through universe. Third Age, the Age of Strife, from 25th millennium to 30th millennium, remembered as Old Night, non-stop wars with demons that spawned from warp, mutants and chaos everywhere, humanity was in peril. Extinction of humanity was guaranteed. Alien gods appeared for the first time. Destruction of universe followed. Billions dead in all galaxies. Humanity lost all of its developed technology during this period. Everything went to shit, in other words. So, a full reset. The last age, age of a great crusade from 30th millennium to 31st. Emperor emerged under Himalayan mountains on earth and united humanity as one true god. He created the first version of superhuman warriors now known as space marines. Humanity fights back. Emperor formed the war council, claimed earth back and then entire Milky Way galaxy followed. The first was Mars where Emperor made pact with tech priests and now he had legion, war council, space marines and tech priests to wage war against aliens. Emperor created 20 Primarchs with his own genetic material, psychic superhuman military commanders to lead the new space fleet and free the galaxy of filth. That went a bit wrong, but you will need to investigate in Warhammer lore how it went wrong. So, to make it short, Soul System fell first, Humanity was winning every battle there is. Now, to make this as short as possible, because you can literally make a 10 hours long video about the next periods, Emperor got gravely injured, and from 31st millennia to 41st millennia, it was back and forth, wars around the universe, humanity winning in every galaxy there is, but with a lot of casualties. Now welcome to Warhammer 40,000. We can finally begin. Now, let me explain the classes, or better to say, the army of the Emperor, the Imperium. The first one in line and the most famous would be Space Marines. Badass superhuman wiping out filth and chaos in the name of the Emperor. They shall be my finest warriors. These men who give of themselves to me. Like clay, they shall mold them the furnace of war I shall forge them. They shall be of iron will and steely sinew. In great armor I shall clad them, and with the mightiest weapons shall they be armed. They will be untouched by plague or disease. No sickness shall blight them. They shall have such tactics, strategies, and machines that no foe will best them in battle. They are my bulwark against the terror. They are the defenders of humanity. They are my space marines, and they shall know no fear. They shall be my sons, and in them will live the hopes of a unified humanity. Theirs will be the strength to prevail, not only when victory lies within easy reach, but even when it seems unattainable, when doom settles like a shroud all about. In those times of darkness, my noble sons will shine brightest of all, the emperor of mankind. Number two, Inquisition. Secret police, Imperium Gestapo, keeping order in the Imperium, wiping out heretics that got possessed by chaos or simple cleaning big targets in other alien species like orcs, drukaris and tyranids. Inquisition comes in few different orders too. Ordo Malius, Ordo Xenos, Ordo Hereticus, and God knows how many other Ordos. Every order is specialized into specific things to make humanity safer. The third would be Astra Militarium, classic expendable imperial army that counts for billions and billions of soldiers of all ranks and types. The fourth one would be Adeptus Mechanicus, Tech, cyborg humans, engineers, artisans, magus, 
and tons of other tech human species from Mars that the so-called tech priests are worshipping their machine god, the Omnissiah. And the final spot goes to Collegia Titanica, Titans and Imperial Knights. What is there to say? Big machines operated by humans with hilarious firepower. Now we transfer to aliens, demons and other mutants and enemies in the universe of Warhammer. The first one in line would be Chaos, arch enemy of humans, demons and infested humans. This is the main enemy of humans in the universe. With discovery of warp and fast travel, Chaos followed, cause they are one and the same. Chaos, of course, has its gods. The main one to mention is the Blood God, also the Plague God, and so on. Chaos consists out of billions of different demon species and abominations. Blood God feeds out of war and destruction. And we are playing Warhammer, so he is quite strong now in 14th millennium, I guess. There are a bunch of different Chaos Gods, Chaos Lords, Chaos Princes, Greater and Minor Demons, Elites, Possessed Chaos, Space Marines, Terminators. I mean, the list with Chaos never ends. Second in line would be Asuriani, or better to say Eldari. Humanoid aliens, Xenos, ex-rulers of galaxies before humans, of course. Think of them as elves in D&D. They are the old, they are the ones to blame for discoveries and chaos creation. The third in line would be Drukari, the dark ones, pure evil of universe, pirates, dark Eldars, or to put it short, these are evil Eldari Asuriani, call them however you like. The fourth in line would be classic orcs, greenskins, orcs outnumber every single species in the universe. They're brutal, dumb, violent, and never-ending. Orcs are always orcs, no matter the game, movie, or TV show. Orcs in space, they never change. The fifth in line would be tyranids. To put it short, insects. They devour all species, all living things, from humans to demons to Eldari, to everything that you can imagine. They multiply and see everything as prey and food. They are the spreading living cancer of the universe. A battle won against tyrannids means nothing for them, but losses are huge for the victor. They keep coming back, devouring planets, life, galaxy. It is said that the tyrannids came from beyond the void where no one ever stepped. Think of them as zergs in Starcraft. Sixth in line would be Necrons. Remember the oldest species known to humanity, Eldaris? Well, Necrons are even older, Xenos humanoid species. They're a mix of robot and a skeleton, walking dead of the universe. Think of them like that. They were sleeping for 60 millennia and now they decided to wake up, cause I guess why not when everyone else is there? Think of them as Reapers in Mass Effect. Seventh in line would be Taos. You can also read them as Taos, in other words. Youngest human robotic species in universe seeking full control of every possible galaxy that exists. You can think of them as a robotic ancient Rome. So, the universe is in deep shit, from demons to ancient races, robots, insects, pirates. All aggressive, all want one thing only, war. Humans have a lot of work to do in Warhammer 40k. And here comes our upcoming title now. All cats, Warhammer, 40k, Rogue Trader. So what is Rogue Trader? Rogue traders are interstellar merchants. They get a ship, a crew, and missions. Some of them are assassins, some of them are spies, some of them are just, well, traders. In the early days, they were scouts, Imperium would give them a starship, and sometimes even space marines to defend them. Their mission was to enter the unknown areas of the galaxy and explore in search for new life, resources, or threats. They were formed during the age of a great crusade. So in short, 
We got youngest faction in the Imperium. Rogue traders are basically Indiana Jones in space. They are negotiators, architects, conquest cutters, traders, nobles, explorers. In some rare cases, even inquisitors can become rogue traders. Order Xenos, for example, or better to say Ordo Xenos, inquisitors, are those that hunt new alien forms and they can take the role of a rogue trader. A rogue trader claim their authority with warrant of trade, which elevates them to a status equal of a space marine or inquisitor. Most decorated war leaders are also granted with rogue trader title. Some rogue traders are there for wealth, and most of them are there for fame and glory. All in the service of the God Emperor and the Imperium. Playable classes that we can expect out of Alcat for rogue trader are Scoundrel, Merchant Prince, Explorer, Missionary, Inquisitor, Diplomat, Psychopath, and trader militant with god knows how many subclasses in each class. Knowing Alcat, this list will be huge. Now what Alcat plans to do with this title is yet unknown, but they got plenty of lore to work with. I placed entire lore of Warhammer 40k in one simple video. I tried to be fast and clear. If you want to find out more, you easily have months of reading and work to do on Warhammer franchise. I hope that this video will help you out to start your run knowing the universe a bit better for the upcoming Road Trader. I still do my research in free time preparing for the release. I have no doubt we will finally get a proper Warhammer 40k game because 99% of Warhammer games are straight mediocre, garbage, or bad. And it's shame because this franchise has some really, really deep and rich lore. I believe we are in for the journey of unknown galaxies. I also believe we are in for a journey that will last at least 500 hours per run with huge amount of different endings with choices and consequences. I also believe that we will get the best freaking sci-fi CRPG ever created. I express myself bad here though. I don't believe. I know we will get it. I'll thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you on the next one.